What's going on, guys? It's Caleb, aka Cool Clucks, and welcome back to more Namco Museum. Last time, we played Galaxian, and today we're going to play Pack Attack. Now, Pack Attack was actually unlocked by uh, scoring uh, 20,000 points in uh, Pac Man, and uh, yeah. The reason Pac Media isn't here, by the way, is because I actually didn't save, so it's not here. <laughs> so let's go. Pack Attack was actually made for the Super Nintendo, so yeah, that's awesome. Uh, we got normal mode, puzzle mode, and nor nervous mode, or whatever this says. But before we do anything else, let's go let's look at the tips. You get extra points by forcing forcing the blocks to drop. Keep an eye on the next group that's coming, and don't drop the current group until you know what to what to do with the ne that next group. If you see that Pac-Man is coming on the next group, no, know which direction he's facing, and he'll move in that in that direction when he stops. Try to line up the the goats horizontally and, and vertically, so Pac-Man will eat many of them in a row. I don't know what the- I don't know what the freak is happening, so... She, she, she could probably just watch- she's probably just not gonna be able to join. Oh, right! I forgot to mention I was joined by a guest. Who, her, her name was Nicole Sorotnik. Uh, yeah. I was Skyping call- Skyping her. In puzzle mode only, you can make Pac-Man force to left or right. He, he'll move in that direction when he drops. Remember that you can only have a limited number of packs in puzzle mode. But when they're all used up, the game will end if, if you still have ghosts left. If you accidentally cover a ghost with a block, don't give up. Avoid piling more blocks in Pac-Man might still be able to get them. You get extra points by forcing block. Oh wait, never. Let's go settings. Oh, it's just the volume. Let's do normal mode. Let's do easy. So, pack attack is basically like a Tetris style thing. Alright, so, basically, it's basically just Tetris, and why not Pac-Man is, uh, there. He, uh, he can, uh, eat the ghosts. Sometimes he doesn't get those though. So obviously we're just trying to do this, I guess. Yeah, we're basically so yeah, it's basically just Tetris. Uh, this guy, this game actually was made for the Super Nintendo. It's in the Wii Shop if you guys wanna wanna check it out. Uh, it is in the Wii Shop if you guys check want to check it out, or if you have a real Super Nintendo, you can just get it for that. Continue on, shall we? Getting a lot of hangout messages. Oh, that probably was a bad thing to do.
I like how the ghosts are just like, now nah, like have those sick reactions when, when uh, they fall. Oh, and by the way, you might notice that ghost right there, I actually trapped in there. And he's kind of st stuck. Whoa, crap, no, no! Oh, whoa, where's this thing going? I'm not really good, I'm not really the best at this game, I will admit. What? No! I'm such an idiot. Do. Do I missed? Whoa! What the heck? What? No, God. Crap. Whoa, what is this? What does she do? Oh, she gets rid of some of the ghosts. Dams. Oh gosh, I'm sucking horribly. Oh man. What's the thing about Tetris? Oh what? I think I'm just gonna lose this. There is no way I'm winning this right now. Game over. Okay, I guess that was that. I guess we could try out puzzle mode now. Oh.
Okay, in puzzle mode, you only have a limited number of packs back then, so... Yeah. I'm not really the best Tetris player. Just, just gonna throw that out right there right now. Yep. Game over. Now yeah, just done. Next, and uh, nervous mode, you actually need a second player because I did, because I don't have a second player. We're just gonna exit it. Next time on Namco Museum, we are going to play Pac Mania, which, by the way, I had to unlock again, but that's okay. So, as always, remember to smile. You are the face of Flunklux Nintendo 99 Gaming.